welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my favorite videos to film. It's my Will I Bite video. Now, this video was inspired by Samantha March. I do want to say that every time because I'm pretty sure she's the one that created that particular type of video, which is a spin-off on the anti-haul videos that were started by Kimberly Clark. Anyway, I like to do my Will I Bite videos kind of when I just have a ton of products piled up. But the month of February in 2018 has been super busy with new launches and new announcements and I feel like I definitely fell off the wagon here with my Will I Buy It video so I have a ton of products to talk about. So what I decided to do instead of making one really really long video I'm going to split this up into two videos and talk about a lot of new products that may have already launched or products that are coming out because you guys I have a ton of opinions on these things so if you're interested just keep watching. Also if you are new to my channel welcome my name is Karen Harris I do upload every other day so you do get quite a bit of content from me and I do hope you will consider subscribing to my channel. Also if you did come from Angelica Nyquist video the eight youtubers under 8k thank you so much for checking out my channel I cannot tell you guys how much I appreciate it and of course how much I appreciate Angelica for giving me a shout out. It has made such a huge difference in my life, so definitely go ahead and support her. And of course, you guys all want to support your small YouTubers because we are out here hustling in these streets. Anyway, back to Will I Buy It. I have a bunch of photos saved on my phone, so I'm going to scroll to the bottom of my list and then we will go ahead and see what's up and pop it. Okay guys, I started filming and of course I had to have somebody claw at my door, so we have a little guest on my channel. This is Teddy or Theodore Harris. He's our new little pet. Um, we rescued him last Sunday and we've had him for a week now. So he is a part of our family. I've always wanted another dog. So yeah, this is what we're doing right now. And also why I haven't had a lot of time on my hands because we've been running around with this big boy. Yeah, so now we're up to four pets in my family. Uh, so my husband has two cats because he's the cat guy. And I have two rescue puppies. Oh, and this guy is such a needy guy. And he loves to cuddle and he's so tiny. And I never thought I'd be a small dog person. But we're going to see how long he lasts in this video. So I was going to start off with NARS. Oh my gosh, you guys. NARS face palettes were such a hit for me last year. I got the one from the Holiday Collection as well as that really nice one called the Board and Plage or whatever. And I love, love the quality of those. So it looks like they're coming out with two new ones for spring 2018 with new highlighting powders and new formulas. So it looks to be like they're doing a palette for lighter skin as well as darker skin. I feel like a lot more brands are doing something like that just to be more accommodating for different skin tones which I think is fabulous. The only bad thing about that is that I feel like I'm a very in-between skin tone so I can wear both. So then I end up buying both, which is not good. But in this one, I feel like I'm definitely more drawn to the darker skin tones. I believe it's called the Maldives, maybe? No, that's the name of the... Sorry, I'm looking on Trend Mode One's Instagram page and I don't think they have names for the palettes yet but they're gorgeous and it doesn't say when they'll come out either. So not a whole lot of information on them, but they do look absolutely stunning. And so I'm super, super tempted to get them. I'll have to see if I can see them in person because I don't know, it's hard sometimes with more expensive palettes. You can kind of end up just sitting there and gathering dust with them. So we'll see, but they are very attractive and I definitely love the shades in the Deeper Skin Tone palette. Next is a new palette. Well, this is newer, but I know they came out with another one more recently. But BH Cosmetics has been adding these really, really cool looking eyeshadow palettes to their line. And the one I was looking at was the Gr Glam Reflection. This is like one that was themed for like Valentine's Day. And I thought the colors on this one were my favorite. They had already come out with two, which I talked about in a previous video. I'm really attracted to mauves, pinks, 
currently that's like my what I gravitate towards as far as like eyeshadow goes so I was really attracted to this palette but I looked at it and I was like you know it's not very expensive but I don't want to spend that kind of money when I already own the It's My Rare Rare palette. I feel like this looks very similar to that, so I decided to pass on that. There's also an eyeshadow, like a brush set that goes with it, and I decided to pass on that as well because I don't really need any more brushes right now. Another thing I was really, really interested in and I wanted to buy was the new Marc Jacobs Shameless Foundation. They came out with 29 shades and it's said to be a 24 hour long wear SPF 25 foundation and it looks like they have decent variety as far as skin tones go. I don't know, I was just like, I bought so many new foundations recently, like I bought the new NARS foundation. I also bought the Huda foundation which I don't think is that new but I feel like I have enough foundations right now so I don't want to keep adding to my foundation stash because I also want to try and use up some of this makeup I buy. I did get a small sample of the Shameless Foundation so maybe I'll try it out and let you guys know my thoughts but for now I'm gonna pass on it just because I really don't need a new foundation right now. This new Makeup Forever palette called the Starlit Glitter Palette. This is out already and has six glitter shades for $45. The only thing about this palette is it's nothing I haven't seen before. I think if they had done more unique glitters I would be more interested in it but I'm just not interested in an all glitter like very neutral palette it's just gonna take up space in my collection and I just don't see myself reaching for that constantly so I decided to pass on it it looks a lot like you know ColourPop shadows and I just have so many glitter super shock shadows in my collection so I decided to pass on this, but I have seen a lot of people have purchased it, so I'd be interested to hear their thoughts on the palette, but for right now, I'm going to pass on it. The other palette, this one is kind of a regret, but also I'm like, I'll be okay, is the Box of Crayons uh, palette by the brand Crayon Case. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'd never heard of this brand prior to seeing this palette on Instagram. I think the first person I saw talk about it was maybe Angelica, I'm not 100% sure, but then I saw Jeffree Star did do a review of the palette, and that kind of made me want it even more. Angelica was talking about how expensive the shipping was, and I was like, you know what, I really don't want to pay $8 in shipping for this palette, but when I saw Jeffree use it, use it, I saw how big the palette was, so that made me feel a little bit better, and honestly, I feel like I have a lot of these shades, but I'm really, really attracted to that neon green shade in the corner, so I don't know. It is currently out of stock, so I don't know if I'll get my hands on it, and I feel like with makeup and YouTube, it's like after a while, like the hype fades, and then I'm like, I'll probably forget about this palette. I have been checking to see if it came back in stock, but it hasn't. So I think it's a cool idea, and if you guys bought the palette, I'd be really curious to hear your thoughts. Now the next thing I have in my saved is the Anastasia Beverly Hills collab with Amrezy. I actually bought her palette, I believe. No, I didn't. I didn't buy the Amrezy palette. I bought the Tamana palette, sorry. The Amrezy palette, I think, came out even before the Tamana palette. I used to have a pretty large Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow palette collection. It's so weird, but Anastasia is like one of those brands I'm planning on buying less from this year. I've always, always defaulted to buying their products, but now I'm just kind of like, mm, you know, it's time for me to give another brand a chance. I've loved Anastasia for so long, and the last palette I bought from them was the Prism palette, and I was so like underwhelmed by their palettes. They're just like one of those brands I wish would do less and just put more time into their products. So anyway, this Ombrezy highlighter, I saw so many people like were dying to get it, but I'm just gonna have to pass on it because I have Anastasia So Hollywood and I rarely ever wear it. I don't even think I've used it more than five times on my face, but I was dying to get my hands on it. So I think last year sometime it came in stock on Macy's.com and I like got right to it. And I feel like I've seen people compare Amrezy's with So Hollywood, but just looking at them, I can't see a difference that would warrant me buying another golden highlighter. I also have a fun video. Uh, personally, I think it's fun where I swatch all my golden highlighters, like 
Some of the more famous highlighters like Whisper of Guilt, Heat Wave, So Hollywood, Gilded Honey. I just swatched them all on my arm and they literally look the freaking same. So I'm kind of over all these golden highlighters, so I'm not going to buy Omri X Anastasia. I'm also going to hold off on Anastasia's bronzers. I mean, I love bronzer, but you guys would be surprised. I actually probably have, in my makeup collection, the least amount I have is in bronzers. And I think that's a good thing. I have a little bit of self-control still. I haven't gotten completely sucked in. And so I'm like, you know, I looked at them the day they launched because they launched this past week. And I was like, ooh, I should get it. And then I was like, no, I don't need it. I'm trying to work on panning MAC Cosmetics, Give Me Sun. And then I'm also working on panning NARS Casino. Um, Casino is like my summer shade, so I'm not using it right now, but today I'm wearing uh, MAC Give Me Sun, and I just want to like pan more of my products. I want to use more of my makeup, so I'm going to pass on the bronzers for now. I also have the Becca bronzers, and those didn't come out very long ago, and I want to, you know, use up the makeup I have. I don't feel the need to buy multiple bronzers, or I, I passed on the Soft Glam palette. I was really, really tempted. But when they all launched, I went on ABH's website and I added the three things to my cart, like the highlighter, the bronzer, and the palette. And basically, it would have been $100. I mean, if you round up, it was like $98. And I was like, Karen, do you really need to buy another ABH palette that has such neutral, neutral colors? Like, I just can't do it anymore because unless it's ColourPop, I don't mind buying a neutral palette by ColourPop, but it's like... After watching Angelica, I think she's really rubbed off on me, and I'm just like, ugh, it's another boring, like, neutrals palette, which previously I love, like, neutral palettes, so I just think I have enough. Like, I don't need more right now, and I'm very satisfied with my neutral palettes collection, so I'm going to pass on that. Another new palette that came out is the Urban Decay Naked Heat like Petite or some shit that it's called, and honestly, guys... I just don't know where Urban Decay is going sometimes with their launches. I think they're trying so hard to remain relevant and it just feels like they're shooting themselves in the foot. Like I don't know why you would want that palette if you already have the Naked Heat palette and most people that didn't buy the Naked Heat palette aren't going to buy the Petite palette I feel like because again we all have those neutrals plus you could just buy like the Colourpop Double Entendre palette and Oh my gosh, I just I just don't understand who would be buying the smaller Naked palette, but if you guys were interested in that palette, let me know. If you bought it, let me know, because I'd be really, really curious to hear your thoughts. Now, I am kind of excited about this Becca collab with this YouTuber or Instagrammer called Senense2106. I can't say her name, I'm sorry, but her highlighter collab with Becca looks beautiful it is like a pinky gold kind of reminds me of that shade in the Huda palette the one and the two it's a repeat shade in both of her palettes the rose gold and the desert dust it's like a golden pink and I've seen a lot of companies come out with that shade I feel like I've seen it a lot in my newer release palette so I'm really, really in two minds. I kind of want to buy the highlighter because I haven't bought a Becca highlighter in a while. And this color just looks beautiful. But I'm also like, Karen, Becca's kind of shady. Do you really need to buy any more highlighter? All these things are running through my mind. So I'm on the fence about it, but I think it's really beautiful. So considering that, another highlighter like launch. I'm just, why? Why are we making more highlighter? There's so much highlighter. MAC Cosmetics came out with two Hyper Real Glow palettes and they're $39.50 each. These already launched. I've seen people show them off on the interwebs and yep, I'm just, I'm not here for it. So I'm going to be passing on that. I don't really know what else to say about that. I feel like MAC really tries to draw everything out and it's just like so overrated and overwhelming. So Tarte now finally launched the Tarte Shape Tape Foundation with additional colors on, I believe, Ulta? Is that what they where they set it up? And uh, that was on Trend Mood, so I just thought it was so interesting because I'm like, oh Tarte, like really good for you. <laughs> so I don't know, I, I'm still like over Tarte, so I don't know why I decided to mention that, but I had saved it in my saved pictures. So 
I wanted to tell you guys that they did launch with extra shades. I haven't heard any one talk about any extra shades that they launched, but uh, they're here in case any of you guys are interested. Okay, so another palette that came out this past week or so is the Trist palette by Viseart. Now, Viseart is concerning me quite a bit this year because they were one of those palettes that stayed out of the mainstream. They were, you know, catering to professional makeup artists and such and such. And now all of a sudden they're turning into like the next ColourPop because after the Trist palette launch, which was what, last week or so, I kid you not, they're already announcing a Petite Pro 2 palette. And I'm just like, are you serious? Like my eyes cannot roll further back into my head because they're just getting boring. I feel like they're losing their innovation. I'm just so disappointed in Viseart. And I just, I just really, really hope they don't become overly commercial because there is something about them uh, that was special and now I feel like they're gonna lose that because they want to kind of gain more profit. So it's a little bit sad, this Trist palette. I don't know who this is gonna look flattering on, but these colors, again, like Angelica would say, are 50 shades of boring and 50 shades of brown and pink and just, they're so light. This is not gonna work for my skin tone, nor do I need any of these colors in another palette. So hard pass on that. And of course, ColourPop came out with a new mini little palette for Valentine's Day and of course you guys know I'm thirsty for ColourPop so I'm gonna go ahead and pick some of that stuff up and I did pick some of that stuff up so I will show you what I got from ColourPop's Valentine's collection in my February haul video so stay tuned for that video when that goes up. Next we have some images of the new Wet n Wild collection. It's called the Gothiographic collection and it looks like they've got some pretty interesting like shimmers. There, it looks like there's two new highlighters, four new eyeliners, some liquid lipsticks and such and such. So looks interesting. I don't know that that's really my makeup vibes. I don't really wear like crazy colored makeup so I don't think I'll be getting anything from the Gothiographic collection. I do kind of have the desire to collect all the Wet n Wild liquid lipsticks though because I do like the formula and I feel like, I don't know, I feel like there's not a lot of liquid lipsticks that are affordable that have such wild color ranges. So I do like that about Wet n Wild because I was at Walmart the other day and I saw their new spring collection or there's just their new launches for liquid lipsticks and they had like a black and two grays and like a very purpley gray color and so I think they are really trying to innovate in the drugstore which is really really cool. Now I believe these Jue blushes have been out for a while and I can't remember if I addressed them in a different Will I Buy It video but good lord. <laughs> I'm actually so disappointed in these blushes and they're just so not I don't know, It's maybe it's the pictures, but they look so light in all the press photos. I'm just like, she did not even try to, you know, cater to people with my skin tone or darker, which I think is really sad because she came out with three, like, shades. So maybe she should have done one for light skin, medium skin, and dark skin. I feel like that would have made me feel a little bit more excited, like she tried. So yeah, I'm really disappointed in Jue on that blush launch. I used to be a huge fan of Jouer Cosmetics. I do have quite a few of their liquid lipsticks, but I haven't purchased from them in a while and I just don't feel like there's anything for me to buy from them. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass on that. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about, and I really don't like mentioning Morphe on my channel, but it looks like Morphe bought back two of their holiday palettes. Shocker! They had these two small palettes that they launched for the holidays. They have 15 shades and are $15 each, and it says on here on the Trend Mood post, they are back for good. Oh my gosh, I didn't see that coming at all, Morphe. Really, are they back for good? Like... I just can't with that brand, you guys, and I just want to say that I 
don't know. I just feel like Morphe is effing sketchy. Like, I, ugh, like they do this all the time. They say something's limited edition, and then once it sells out, they bring it back as permanent. So I just don't like that about them, and I don't like them for a lot of other reasons, but I'm not going to keep talking about uh, it. Next is a liquid concealer from MAC Cosmetics. Now, I have kind of been thinking about my concealer game, and I feel like I could do better. I feel like I haven't found my Holy Grail concealer yet. I used to really like the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, um, but I haven't used it in a while. I do like the ColourPop concealer, but this MAC concealer does get me kind of excited. Looks like it's a medium to full coverage in 34 shades. Oh gosh, this isn't launching till fall of 2018. Are we serious right now? I might be dead before the fall of 2018. So forget about that. Let's talk about that like when it gets closer to the time. Maybelline is coming out with a Lemonade Craze eyeshadow palette. It's 12 matte and shimmery shades and has a subtle lemon scent for $14 in the summer of 2018. I feel like this one is a little bit too soon to talk about as well. But just based off of first impressions, this is definitely one of those palettes I think that is milking the pop effect. Now, I think, what is that channel's name? It's like Thrifty Chick or something. I gotta, I gotta link her channel if I forget. I'm sorry, but Makeup Struggles mentioned her and I watched her video. But basically, she, she talks about this concept of how palettes basically essentially... A lot of the new launches have very similar shades, it's just that they add a few pops of color and that's how they convince us to buy the palette. So in this palette, I'm immediately attracted to that bright pink and the yellow. And if I take those two out, it's literally another boring neutral palette. So that's how they get you and I don't care if this palette only costs $2, I'm not buying it. <laughs> Now a palette that I did buy and I'm so excited for you guys because like um, Angelica said in her video where she gave me a shout out she said I've been really getting into indie brands and I must say I really really have gotten suckered in. I've been buying from so many cool indie brands and I was so excited when I saw that Strobe Cosmetics is coming out with a palette called Creepy Cute which I thought was really funny. It kind of reminded me of Halloween so I was like that's an interesting theme, but these colors get me so freaking excited. And they actually did a pre-order for this palette, so I was able to pre-order it, so I know it's coming to me. I don't know exactly when it'll get here, but I am so excited. So, yeah, looking forward to reviewing that for you guys. Okay, so the final thing I want to talk about in this Will I Buy video is... NARS is, NARS is coming out with two exclusive limited edition highlighting palettes for Nordstrom, it looks like. I'm wondering if this is for the semi-annual sale, because NARS usually does like an exclusive product or two for Nordstrom. So these are gorgeous. Uh, there is one called Reeve, and, Reeve Sale Cheek Palette and a Kosher de so Soleil. I'm really bad at pronouncing <laughs> these names, uh, but these look stunning. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I've had really good luck with NARS recently, so I'm really curious. I love that they're doing a lighter palette for lighter skin tones and then a darker palette for darker skin tones. So makes me really, really happy and yeah, very, very cool stuff. Okay guys, that is everything I want to talk about in part one of this Will I Buy series. Like I said, I feel like I'm so behind on a lot of new launches and I just want to talk about them with you guys. So this one is going up today and then I will have a second video going up. So you're watching this video now, you will see another Will I Buy video go up the very next day at 7 a.m. Central Time. So you can hear all of my obnoxious opinions on new makeup launches. I hope you did enjoy this video and I'm going to pick Teddy up so he can say bye. Wah. Ooh, you have gnarly breath, buddy. Say bye. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you have a great rest of your week. Bye guys. Bye guys. <laughs>